Hello, this is Michael O'Grady and welcome to another episode. This is episode 10. We're looking at the vertical menu. Last time, version uh, episode 9, we looked at the sidebar. And now the vertical menu is the um, area here. Okay, It's a particular uh, box in the, one of the sidebars. And there's other sections here, but this is just the vertical menu. Okay, so you can tell that it's different from the rest. We can put it um, in any position we want. At the minute, it's top left. Um, we could put it uh, second one down, um, or I could put it uh, top right. Okay, it's going to appear there. There we go. So you can put it wherever you want. It pushes everything else down or up, uh, depending on which way you go. In terms of what it looks like, uh, it's currently uh, no blocks, no uh, borders or uh, backgrounds. So we can go to a variety. Let's just have a look at this one. These are the default colors for this color scheme. Uh, we can have uh, patterns um, with this one here. Let's have a look at that. Okay. So let's just go with this one. <coughs> Look at the uh, the block menu. At the minute, um, it doesn't have um, borders and uh, outlines, etc. And fill. Um, um, so let's have a look at uh, this. If we just hover over, um, if we just hover it over, you get a feel for what what is happening. Um, so we'll go with this one. Okay, the title is within the the, the, the background. So let's have a look now. Uh, radius. At the minute, we, we set radius, but um, it's like in blocks, which is no radius. So let's go to 6. And you might want uh, all your blocks to have the same radius or to be radiused. Okay. So we've got a radius on those now. And uh, we can go to the, the background color, have a look at inner padding, currently 7. Let's see what happens when it's 1. So the, the gaps around the outside um, uh, alter significantly there. The header, uh, oh no, let's keep on with the, uh, the fill. Let's just lighten that up a little bit. And the border, different border thicknesses, currently at 1. Texture, let's apply a texture. Okay, that's um, a little um, busy, but uh, never mind. Let's apply a gradient, a left, dark to right light. And you can just see we've got a gradient over the top there. Let's have a look at the header itself. Let's change the color. It's a little dark. So as I hover over here, I can pick colors up. Um, Let's just darken that, see what that looks like. That's reasonable. What does it happen if it's lighter? That's a bit too light. So let's darken that up again. And then click OK. Um, it's perhaps a little small. So let's just have a look at making it a little larger. Let's go to 14. And we can change the... Um, the font family and, and everything like that. Um, we can apply uh, shadows and glows. Let's apply a glow. Um, and then where are we going? Okay, so the rollovers, we've done the uh, quite a bit on the, the main items. Let's have a look at the uh, shape of the individual items now. Uh, let's make these rounded cornered. Uh, they're very close together, so let's just alter the distance. Go for two and they'll be spaced out a little bit. The height we can alter. Uh, it's quite, they're quite tall at the minute. Let's reduce those in size. Make them more slimline. And the radius, this is a percentage of height. Let's go to 20%. Um, this is very confusing now, so I've gone back into the menu item, which is not what I want. Um, so I didn't want that. That was the menu bar. Okay, so <laughs> come back to the item. 
It's good to keep track of these things. Let's have a look at a texture. Let's go wild and wonderful with that one. Oh, that's a bit too wild and wonderful. Let's go and change it. Texture something a little more subtle. Let's have something a bit more fuzzy. Oh, that's perhaps a little too intense, but uh, we'll keep it at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at icons. We can change the icon, which is to the left of the text. If we have a simple arrow. OK, arrow pointing right. And now we can look at the sub-items. These are um, sub-item 1 to 3. We can open them uh, all or by click. Uh, we can control the offset, the gap between the main, main menu items above and below. So we'll go to 4. Apply a gradient. Um, let's go with a top down gradient with a bit of a glare over the top. Uh, again, we'll change the icon. We have a little squiggle. Let's see if we can find ourselves a right arrow. Okay, that's nice. So, colouring them. This is the relative and actual colouring of the um, active, passive, and visited items. Okay, so we can turn these things on and off, rollovers, etc. Or we can um, simply choose each one uh, bit by bit. So here on the pass uh, on the fill, we've got passive, active, and hovered, and we've got the same on the um, the text, etc. Okay, so let's just make that a little lighter. Mm, don't particularly like the colours. I'm going to have to spend some more time on this <laughs> uh, border for the the various rollovers. Okay, so always active, passive and hovered. Choose the font family. Of obviously we want the uh, the same um, on all the three. Well we generally do because we don't want our text getting wider and narrower. Okay. So that's about it. That's um, the vertical menu bar. Um, it's not looking particularly attractive but uh, we've gone through each bit. Thank you very much.